property to buy for $300,000 or less? Interesting question. Um, how do we approach it? Every market's different uh, and have different price points if we compare Sydney to Melbourne, even to Brisbane, to Perth, to Adelaide, uh, and what you can get for $300,000. My, my scaling rule of thumb is a house over a townhouse, a townhouse over an apartment. Um, and that's how I always look at it. But what are we going to get in each city retrospectively for that sum of money? Um, you know, we're going to have to go rural in New South Wales and Melbourne most likely for anything around 300000 which can be highly risky depending on the industries um, that are in that town. Um, if we're in Queensland, I think we're going to have to go to the outer regions or we might have to go townhouses. And again, what are we going to get? Uh, Adelaide's an attractive proposition for me at the moment. Um, it is possible for to get investment from $300,000 or less. Um, whether they're new or existing, positive cash flow uh, yielding scenarios. Um, so, but I'm always trying to gear myself to look for uh, a Torrens title house, if possible, over a unit. What I find is unit prices in slower markets have less growth and longer time on the market to sell, and that's the risk with units. So, if we're going to be looking at a unit, an apartment at that price point, I'd be looking at an ownership scenario where the strategy is we're buying it for the long term, we want to pay it down and we want to own it. That's the fundamental key important thing there if we're going to go down that strategy. Uh, but it's a very good question. I've had, I've had interstate investors that have come to me and I've found them brand new tax deductible houses for 280000 for example, in, uh, in suburbia of Adelaide. So there are stock available for that price point and it seems to be a comfortable price point for a lot of people.